Attack. To attack is to try to fight or to hurt. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Okay, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. And um, yes, welcome to this stream. In this stream, I'm going to show you how you can practice your vocabulary. So how you can improve it. And the thing is, I'm going to show you how I can practice 100 words a day. So I just made a new profile on Anki. So I will start from the bottom. So I didn't practice anything. Just one book. I'm going to show you how you can practice one uh, 100 words a day. So it will be really easy, but you have to commit and learning those words. So first thing first, just join the Discord if you want to talk to me. And if you join the Discord, I can see it right here. And if you want to say something to me, just say it in the general chat. And if it's worth it, I will um, react on it on the stream. Otherwise, if you want to talk to me directly, just say it in the chat and I will arrange everything so you can talk to me directly and I will react on the, um, uh, yeah, on the conversation and in the stream. So that's it. And I'm going to show you how Anki works. The thing is, if you do not know what Anki is, it's technically a program can help you remember words. A program can help you build up your vocabulary. A program that can help you improve your vocabulary. If you have questions about Anki or anything, put in a chat on Discord or put it in a comment. I will look at it. I will give you the correct link in order to see the steps where you can download it and practice it for yourself. So if you have question, put it in the comment and uh, I'm going to start with Anki. If you know the answer, also put it in the comment and then we'll see how it goes. Yes. Let's see if we have someone in the chat. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's start. Let's go to Anki. Let's see, Anki. Yes, you see here, this is Anki. I just make this profile. So that means that um, when I log in, I can see this uh, book. I download it from the Discord and I can start practicing. First thing first, if you start, it's important to know what your goal is. So here you press on this, go to option. And here you see a couple of things. The thing is, you can also install Anki in Vietnamese, but don't do that. Because if you're learning English, just install it in English and follow it in English. There's nothing wrong with practicing in English um, in Vietnamese. So the program, the software in Vietnamese. But the problem is, if you need help, it's going to be really difficult to help you when it's in another language. Just say it. So here, how many new words do you want per day? If your goal is to learn 100 new words every day, you put here 100. But the thing is, not a lot of people have enough time to do that. So I recommend you to put 50 or 25. Well, in this case, let's put 50 because uh, I know this program and most of the words I already know. So I'll put 50. You can always start with 50 or 25, but don't go below that. Yeah. So what you need to keep in mind is every day you will get 50 new words. So if I get today 50, tomorrow they will repeat the 50 of today and also give you 50 new. Hopefully you understand that. Yeah. So when you practice Anki, when you download the book from the server, you see the book and a lot of um, units. Don't worry too much about the units. Yeah. Thing is important that you practice those words the units are made so people can practice step and step but if your goal is to practice 100 words a day just practice the book and put the um, numbers in here at option put the numbers and you're good to go let me tell you something if you practice 100 words a day it's easy for you to get let's say 4,000 words 4,000 words in uh, one month so if you're really serious about it, I would think about it. I think is something wrong. Let's see. I think something's wrong with my sound. Let me see what's wrong with it. Give me one second. Test, test. 
test okay my sounds should work right now so hopefully everything is okay yeah it should work right now and hopefully is everything okay yeah hmm. but okay yeah okay so hopefully my sound is okay right now if you guys can hear me loud and clear tell me but um, yeah these are the books and in the books you have units what are units see it as a chapter and in the units you also have a lot of words the thing is don't worry too much about it just close this toggle it and then press it and then you can start it what you need to remember is you will get 50 new words if you're already learning you see how much words you're gonna learn a day so if I practice 50 today and I'm going to practice tomorrow I will get in total 100 I need to practice the words that are easy you will not practice the same day you will practice later because they are easy the words are difficult you will see that you will practice it every day until it become easy that's why this program works that's why this program can help you remember words faster yeah so if you have question about it put it in the comment i will look at the comments in between the scenes and i'm going to start if you also know the answer put it in the comment if i go too fast yeah sorry about that but uh think about it the first couple of words i will take it slow but after that i will try to do it faster so you can see how you how good you can get with it so let's start with um study okay i see this is too small let me increase it because i made a new account it doesn't show everything and i don't want to here yeah, see i was afraid for this give me one second yeah give me one second i'm gonna resize everything so it look nice on the screen yeah this look nice let me fix one more thing because otherwise you guys cannot see the words and we don't want that keep the logo of english i'll see so if you have question about um, this program or whatever if you have question you can also ask the english house just go on the page send them a message and they can help you okay what words the first word is a rather easy so let's look at it what do you guys think it is so when someone is they feel fear the woman was or what she saw so let's look at the answer the thing is most of the time here you see the vietnamese translation i don't know how to pronounce it but if you uh, most of the time if you translate it correct you know what the word is so the more words you know you already have a head sprung because here you see the translation so in this case it's afraid afraid when someone is afraid they feel fear the woman was afraid of what she saw so you see when you type the correct answer you see here this is the keyword see keyword afraid afraid yeah here you see the meaning the second one is always the meaning when someone is afraid they feel fear when someone is afraid they feel fear yes and then we have third an example the woman was afraid of what she saw so the woman was afraid of what she saw yeah so you see here you always have the keyword the meaning an example and if you want to practice the way how you pronounce it and the way how to use it just play it afraid and repeat afraid 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 meaning same. when someone is afraid they feel fear yeah and another thing is here you see how you pronounce it afraid yeah and again here you see how you pronounce it and this is translation in Vietnamese so it helps you a lot 
all those things you can just go on the discord you can download it and you can practice so here we have uh, translation how you can use it in other situation we are not afraid of difficulties and I cannot I cannot pronounce this sorry about that and then another one to be afraid of someone and you see the translation so this book gives you a lot of option to learn how to use the word but also give you a lot of example how you can use it in different kind of situation so why not use it so not important thing because this was easy for me like I said at the beginning I can press easy and in four days they will repeat this word if it's normal for me I can practice press good and if it's difficult for me so if it's not easy I will press again so in one minute it will do it again if it's normal they will do it in 10 minutes understand that they will repeat it again but because it's easy it will become four days so it's something important to know I do not know if you guys can see it but down here you see short key three that means if I press three that means it's easy if I press two that means it's good normal if I press again, that means it's difficult. So it's one key number one. So one is difficult, two is normal, three is easy. Hopefully you understand that. And sometimes you see four, but uh, you will see that later the more you get into these words. So this is the first word. What do you guys think? Is it easy or difficult? You can also put it in a comment though. I forget to put in text in the comment, but don't, I mean in the description, but don't worry. Okay, so this is afraid. Let's go to the next one because this is easy for me. I will press here easy. So three. Okay, here we have another word and I know this word. So if you do not know this word, look this translation. Think about it and do not Google the translation. Just think about it. What can I use as a keyword when I translate this? And can I use the keyword in this sentence? So can I use the keyword in this meaning? Can I use the keyword also here in this example? Is that simple? So what do you think this is? If you think it's agree. Agree. To agree is to say yes or to think the same way. The yeah. food is very good in that restaurant. I agree with you. Yes. So when you see this sign, most time people be like, I agree. Or it's okay. It's good. So that's what you're seeing here right now. Agree. So agree. Keyword again. Let's look at it. Agree. Yes. The meaning to agree is to say yes. Or to think the same way to agree is to say yes so you agree yes or you think the same way you see here those people are thinking the same way that's simple so let's look at the example the food is very good in that restaurant I agree with you yeah so you see here the food is very good in that restaurant someone's opinion and B say I agree with you so if someone has an opinion you can say I agree with you or I disagree yeah so here again you have the keyword how you pronounce it agree yeah on Google um, I think on YouTube you have a video where they explain how you pronounce this yeah I don't remember the shortcut but uh, if you have question about it, put it in the comment. I will direct you to the correct video in order to help you with the pronunciation. Yeah. Here again, the translation. And here again, a couple of examples or situation where you can use agree. And even with translation. I cannot pronounce this. So sorry about that. But here, to agree, go proposal. To agree with someone. This is, an, uh, this is not correct. I think uh, they need to change the sentence, but it depends how it, uh, what the meaning is of this. Maybe they use this just to tell you when you agree with the proposal, 
then it means this but i can i do not know the translation of this that's something i need to check here again you have a couple of examples but most of the time these examples are here to give you an example how you can use that word yeah doesn't mean it is always correct but what always correct is this yeah so the keyword the meaning and the example in here it's always correct but here they give you extra stuff so you can use it and so you know um, what situation you can use it so last time we pressed three easy now we're gonna press two normal good so two you see here keyword two means good i will press that right now yeah so we have another word this one is interesting see the way how he looks it's like it looks like he wants to kill someone he's angry yeah so if you see the word angry should fit in here when someone is angry they may want to speak loudly or fight simple that's what it means she didn't do she didn't or she did not do her homework so her father is angry yeah I do not know if this is the correct translation because I do not, I do not speak Vietnamese, but let's look at the answer. Angry. Angry. When someone is angry, they may want to speak loudly or fight. She didn't do her homework, so her father is angry. Yes. So you see again here the keyword. Angry. Angry. Meaning. When someone is angry, they may want to speak loudly or fight. Yes, an example. She didn't do her homework, so her father is angry. Yeah, simple. And here again, you have some things, some examples. And you also see some situation where you can use angry and you see the translation of it. See it all in here. Yeah, because we use in the two examples, easy and good. I'm going to practice again and you will see in one minute you will see the word angry again so let me show you we're gonna go fast through this because i want to show you the examples um this is arrive arrive to arrive is to get to or reach some place the bus always arrives at the corner of my street at four yes and so now you see this here same situation i'm not going into that so it was easy for me i press three so this one, you see him is going to attack. Attack. To attack is to try to fight or to hurt. The man with the sword attacked the other man first. Okay, this one's easy. Let's see. Um, you see, you need to look at this here. So this bottom. Bottom. The bottom is the lowest part. The bottom of my shoe has a hole in it. So this one's okay, easy. You see here, angry, we press one. So after one minute, it will keep repeating. So the every time you press something is difficult, it will repeat. And the more you do it, the chances are that you will remember it faster. But do not do it a lot. If it's get normal, just press normal. If it's easy, press easy. If it's difficult, press difficult. It's that simple. The program will help you with remember those words. So when you're practicing this, just be honest with yourself. One, two, three. Hard, so difficult, normal, or easy. That's simple. Yeah? So here we know the answer. Angry. And because it's easy, I will press three. Angry. Okay. I'm going to go fast into this because we have, if you see down here, 44 words to go. So it's going to take a long time. So I'm going to speed run. That means I'm going to do everything really fast. I'm not going to listen to everything. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here tomorrow while I'm still explaining the same things over and over again. So I'm going to put the music on. If you have question, put it in the comment or put it on Discord. I will answer it. And if you want to practice so long, if you can talk, just go on Discord, send me a message in the channel. And then we'll see. We will talk. Yeah. So I'm gonna put some music on and uh, let me see.
great. Great. And it's describe. Describe. Ta da! You see? If we go back. In 12 minutes, I study almost 100 cards. Is it because I already know? Yeah, you see, in 12 minutes, I study already 100 cards. That means twice the words. Most of the words I already know. So it was easy for me. I just need to see the picture and the meaning. Some of them I didn't remember. And yeah, practice. And you see here the 50 new is gone. So by tomorrow there will be 50 again. And I need to repeat some of the 50 that I practiced today. The one that are difficult. Difficult or normal. But the easy one I will practice those in 4 days. After 4 days. So it, the way how you see it is this. Every day you practice. And if something is easy. They will extend the repetition. But if something is difficult, they will make it shorter. So every time you will practice the difficult until it gets easy. That's how you need to see it. And the thing is, because I already knew the words, I already know the words, it's easy for me to go do a speed run. But uh, when you're starting out, it's going to go really f um, slow. But the more you practice, you're going to get faster in this. And it's going to be really easy for you. So, it was a really short uh, speed run. I think uh, the next time I will try to do it again. I think by tomorrow so I can see, show you how it works if I practice the day after. And uh, you will see that I have again 50 words and I want to practice it. And you will see the sum of the words that were easy. I need to keep repeating it or uh, understand it or remember it. So, a little bit recap. Give me a second. Yeah. So, it's important to know that you can use Anki in order to build vocabulary. If you have questions about Anki or other stuff related to building up your vocabulary, you can ask me on Discord or you can ask the English house more about these kind of things. And if you want to download Anki or if you need the books, just go on the Discord, you can download it. And um, yeah, if you have questions, let me know and I will see you in the next live stream. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen with